released the album Time Out. It would sell more than a million copies, something no other jazz LP had ever done. Black, as well as white fans, followed the Brubeck Quartet. It was named the favorite group of the readers of the Pittsburgh Courier. And Brubeck never forgot that when Willie the Lion Smith heard one of his records without being told who was playing, Smith said, he plays like where the blues was born. How did Take Five come to be? Huh. I'm sure you've explained it a hundred times, but I'd love to hear it. Two nights ago, I was eating at Bobby Militello's new restaurant. Mm -hmm. And in the table right behind me was a woman that's a horsewoman. And she said, she showed me a picture of her horse that had just won something. Mm -hmm. She said, 10 years ago, you told me that you got your rhythms from horses. And she said, I understand that completely. And we started talking about take five mm -hmm. with a horse. It's one, two, and three, and four, or five. One, two, four, five. And you see, I was raised as a cowboy. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. My father ran 45,000 acre cattle ranch mm -hmm. owned by H.G. Howard, who owned Seabiscuit. Right. And that's the ranch I was raised on. Okay. And I worked in the hay fields. My wife was looking through, because she's writing a book about us. Mm -hmm. And she found my father's monthly pay for the men. And, uh, it said I was getting a dollar a day. Mm -hmm. uh, then the next ledger she saw next to my name, Vaccaro, a dollar and a half a day. <laughs> so I'd moved up and was riding a lot then. My dad was the champion roper of California. Salinas Rodale, mm -hmm. the uh, Every rodeo up and down, but uh, Salinas and where the Army Lab is the, today, what's that? Well, he was first there. Just He was the topic of calf roper and steer roper for years. He, mm -hmm. he, he was a great, I wanted to be like him. Mm -hmm. Translated that into a, a, a song. All kinds of beats yeah. you can hear. And if you're on a 45,000 acre ranch and you're sent to pump water someplace, you, you ride miles before you get to the engine and the water tank. Right. And uh, often my dad would send me, and uh, the engine often influenced me too. I would lie down under the tank because uh, it's so hot in the summer mm -hmm. on a two by 12. And the vibration from that single stroke motor and I would get rhythms from that too, because it's never the same. Right. And instead of just being bored, I, I would listen to all the different rhythms around me. But the gasoline motor was one source, the horse was definitely a source. Because you put a, another rhythm against the horse's um, beat, gait, against the gait of the horse. And you're there for hours. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, I made up a lot of music on horseback. 
And my mother was a great musician, okay. so I had both going on. Oh, this is terrific. Well, to Dave Brubeck, I can only say thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.